darling bees welcome back to my channel um, I'm trying to sit sort of sit today um, see if I can try and do this more often now for my menu today I ordered modern Mexican sorry not modern Mexican um, try again I bought food from the burrito bar modern Mexican it's um, I think I've had it once before, but I've never tried these dishes. So uh, now I ordered a kids um, um, quesadilla, and I added black beans to it, so it's cheese and black beans, and a bit of uh, ground beef. So let's try. Ooh. Wow, it's got a bit of a kick to it. Mmm. I think if I could drive and go pick it, pick it up fresh, it'd be hot. My problem is I'm still recovering from spinal surgery, so I still can't drive. Plus, I have issues sitting, as you guys know. So, But hot, I think this would be crispy. Hmm. It's good. Very, very nice. Now, if you can't tell, I'm Australian. Finding this stuff is near impossible. Finding diet, Dr. Pepper, is like one in a million. Um, I was adopted at age 11, I'm 38. However maths that is, I've been in Australia, I found diet Dr. Pepper once. I wish it was popular. It's cherry Dr. Pepper, even better. Um, now, the other things I ordered are uh, enchiladas. I'm going to try ground beef. Um, not ground beef, sorry, shredded beef. Because I'm not sure if I can eat that or not. I know I can't eat steak. And I can't eat chicken breast. So... Right now, I'm going between pretty much vegetables, if I eat at all, that I've barely eaten since Christmas. It was since my last upload, and that was about a week old recording. Okay, so it's supposed to be lemon fried uh, lemon rice. I think hot, maybe. Let's try this bit with a bit of guac. Don't get any beef. Yep. I'm already full from that one bit of quesadilla. Ooh. That is good guacamole. Enchiladas, meh. Not that impressed with that. Mm. 
homemade corn chips. Mmm. What have we got in the guac? So, would I order this dish again? No. The guacamole, while it started off being really delicious, it's got a funky aftertaste. I'd say the best thing out of this dish is the homemade corn chips. And you know I'm obsessed with the crunch. <laughs> oh yeah. That's where I make my biggest mistake, you guys. Pardon me. That I either eat or I drink. I can't. can't really do both because that two sips has really filled me up and it's already I've got pain right there but I'm gonna keep soldiering on because I need to start eating more Now, I'm on medicinal cannabis, and when I had the half and half uh, bottle, the hybrid, I found that I was getting the munchies uh, at the six week mark. Uh, right now that it's separated the THC and the CBD, it's not giving me an appetite. So that's kind of a bit of a disappointment because I was quite pleased at the end of the last, the first trial that I was actually able to eat a bit more. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was eating more frequently and a lot more. And now I seem to have gone back to, I have to force myself to eat. I could genuinely easily go two, three weeks without a feed maintaining a YouTube channel that is about eating is rather hard when you can't eat. I apologize for my neighbors, you guys, that have been partying since before Christmas. Now, for this meal, it was close to $45. That's a kid's portion. And to add the black beans was $3.50. The ground beef was another $1.50. So you get, it's how much for a kid's one. And that's two enchiladas adult serving. So, Oh my goodness, pain. Oh. So, amount of food for the price, it's a bit steep. It's no American takeaway, that's for sure. It's no Taco Bell. I swear, I wish one of you guys could send me Taco Bell from the US and it would still be fresh when I got here. I'd kill for a Mexican pizza.
the other reason why I don't do a lot of meals out here, guys, is one, noise on my neighbours. Two, I don't have an air conditioner out here and the heat, because I have to have all the windows and doors closed and no fan so that you guys can hear me. Um, makes it very hard to be in this room because you're just sweating. Hence why I haven't put any makeup on because it would just be dripping. I'll be saving that for dinner. I took a photo of before and um, I apologize you guys look I know there's a lot of youtubers out there who have wonderful editing and uh, really cool special effects I'm not one of those technologically savvy people I could barely figure out how to take text off once I did it it's um I'm learning I'm just a bit of a slow learner when I've got a lot on my plate so Lord, I hope you can't hear them. I want to say, this is really good. I like the quesadilla. This place is located um, near Kabucha Hospital. Mm. Wow, you guys, I've nearly eaten a whole child-sized quesadilla. Mm, that guy. Oh. Drop two beans on the floor. I'm going to tell you guys how much my kids want to be doing mukbangs with me. I know there's people out there who think that parents just push their kids, um, you know, to do YouTube. I don't have that luxury. My kids insist on be, uh, taking selfies and filling up my phone from their ipads with photos <laughs> of random things they are so tech savvy it's not funny i wish my son knew how to edit because i'd just be giving it to him <gasps> well Mm. 
struggling now. I think that's my first completed meal with camera. I'm very proud of myself, you guys. Yes, it's only a kid sized meal. But considering the start of my journey, bloody good, mate. Bloody good. That is awesome. I am super proud of myself. I uh, just want to um, also say, you guys, I hope you have an amazing 2020. I hope all your dreams and goals are successful, that you get what you want to get. For me, I'd like to grow my YouTube channel, get awareness of the medical conditions I have um, to hopefully help future generations and concentrate on being the best mum I can for my kids and hopefully earning an income rather than feeling like a burden on society because well I've paid enough uh, taxes in the past two years for for me to be on welfare for quite a while it doesn't feel good being on a welfare oh, I'd, I'd like to be earning my own money to support my kids and um yeah so my goal is to helpfully hopefully grow my channel i don't see it happening as fast as others but it's a little bit difficult because mine's a very different type of channel i, I can't eat copious amounts and you know i don't have an exciting person next to me doing eating so we're keeping you entertained and uh, as you can tell i'm kind of awkward sometimes so makes things a bit difficult but you know with that being said I couldn't thank you enough for being part of my life for watching this video because it means so much to me you know I, I don't have family or friends near me so this is an outlet that I get to reach people and I get to from it I've gotten to talk to people and connect with other people and it's been amazing and I'd like to take a special moment to thank the Baddie Twins. Um, you guys have been absolutely wonderful to me. I adore you guys. And I thank you for having a look at my channel and um, I look forward to hearing your feedback um, so I can improve my channel and um, hopefully get it somewhere. Um, and, um, and also, you know, big guy appetite for all his support and helping me get started. My channel wouldn't be, exist if it had not been for BGA encouraging me to, you know, get up, do what you can and just try. And Nina unrated because, and be loves life. That positive energy, that positive vibes and stuff like that. It's so incredible, it's so empowering and it it can mean the difference between you laying in bed depressed all day and you getting up and wanting to be the best person you can and um, pray and strive for change, which is what I'm doing. And um, so I wanted to take the time to thank you guys. Um, I know Beloved's Life will probably never see this. Um, that I'm hoping BGA does because uh, I've told him in in our in our live chats that he's absolutely wonderful. I I think he's just 
an incredible spirit. He, he's he's a very funny man. And um, yeah, Nina Unrated is just so full of self belief and power that it can't it can't help but rub off on you because you you know I've gone from someone who doesn't believe in herself to actually believing that the only person that can change my life for the better is me and I'm doing that and for that I thank you because you've helped me build up that confidence you know watching your lives and and corresponding has it's incredible so I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful year I hope your channels absolutely blow up um, I hope I can reach at least 4k by the end of the year um, you know uh, I I was stuck at 11 people for quite a while and then I'm slowly starting to get um, more but um, if I get to 4k and get monetized and you know I'd just love to start putting ads in there and um, start earning some income so I can improve the lives of myself and my kids but also you guys I've got really exciting news today I got my letter from the National Disability Insurance Scheme uh, proving my package essentially that means that for the next 12 months I have the finances and support to be able to hire a nurse, a carer, someone to come and help me clean, um, someone to drive me to my medical appointments and a modifying wheelchair, getting a um, special a, a new wheelie walker, a new a commode in the bathroom so I can actually sit without impingement on my spine in the shower and um, be able to shave my legs again like it's super exciting so that's my big news that's the best thing that's happened to me so far this year is getting that letter today and yeah so now I just got to have a meeting and then we allocate the money where it needs to go so please look after one another take care of one another be kind to one another and take care of your health until next time I love you very much and happy new year